Create an Advanced Shipment Notification, or ASN. We will look at what an Advanced Shipment Notification is and learn to create it in WMS Cloud. An ASN is an Advanced Notification from a supplier to a buying organization regarding material shipment. It helps streamline the process by keeping track of pending deliveries to the facility and is used for receiving inventory in Oracle WMS. Here are the statuses applicable to an ASN. In transit, this means the ASN has been created by the buying organization but has not yet been received by them. Receiving started, this means receiving for the ASN has been started by the buying organization but is not complete. Receiving complete, this means the ASN has been fully received by the buying organization. Verified. This means the ASN has been received by the buying organization and receipt confirmation has been generated and sent back to the supplier. It is important to note that ASNs can only be modified while their status is in transit. Once an ASN has started receiving, its details cannot be modified in any way, so you will not be able to add items, update quantities, or do anything else like that. There are different methods available to you to create an ASN in Oracle WMS. Creating an ASN manually from the ASN screen. Uploading an ASN using the ASN interface from the interface screen. Interfacing with the host system to automatically process ASNs. And creating ASNs from existing PO records. Let's look at how you can create an ASN manually. From Navigator, Go to the Inbound Shipment screen to create an ASN. Like other objects, use the Create button to create an ASN header. Generate the shipment number and populate the information pertinent to your environment like shipping information, LPNs, load, and quantity. Click Save to save the ASN header. Next, you add expected items for this ASN. Click the Details button after selecting the ASN record. Click Create to create SKUs within the ASN. Enter an item number manually or by selecting it from a list. You can open the list by clicking the magnifying glass. Provide information about the shipped quantity. Click Save to save the item details. If you have other items to add, you can click the Save New button, which lets you save the current record and continue adding new records without closing the Create tab. Now let's see how you can upload one or multiple ASNs through an Excel-based template. The first step is to prepare an input interface file. While preparing this file, you should ensure the file name starts with ISS. Populate the required columns. Populate the header record denoted by H1 for each unique ASN and corresponding items shipped in the details record denoted by H2. The sequence number should be in order to avoid duplicates. Here you can see a sample file populated to upload two different ASNs. Once the file has been prepared, navigate to the input interface screen and use the drop down menu to select the inbound shipment interface. Click Upload Files and locate the file to be uploaded on the local system. Once the file is selected, click Run Interface. If no errors are encountered during upload, a message dialog box notifying that the file has been successfully processed will appear. In this session, we learned what an ASN is and how to create an ASN manually and through an interface.